Hello and welcome to the beginners tutorial. In this video we will see how to get a working Drupal installation and the tools that are required and how to install and use them. This is the list of tools that are required and we will use in our tutorial. So firstly we will install WAM server. So to install WAM server open your browser go to google.com type WAM server and hit enter and this is the WAM server site so open this site uh, here is a start using WAM server link click on this and you will see the two versions one for the 32 bit system and another for the 64 bit system according to your system you can download the WAM server installer so to check what is your system so go to start right click on my computer go to properties you will see uh, the system type here is a 16 64 bit operating system so i will download the 64 bit installer so click on this you will see the warning here if you you have windows 7 so you have to download this update this is for 32 bit update and this is a 64 bit update you can download this from microsoft so uh, site and then you can download the WAM server. I have downloaded the WAM server. So in a download folder, I have two files. One is a update file of Microsoft from Microsoft site. So you have to install this update and restart your PC. Then you have to install the WAM server. So right click on WAM server, open. The setup wizard will open and click next accept the agreement next it will install in c drive as a wam folder then click next and then create a desktop icon and next and install It will take some time. Okay, here is a please choose your default browser. If you are not sure, just click open. Okay, if you are not sure, you can click open and just finish the installation. Now it will open the PHP mail parameters. Keep it default and click next. Now launch the WAM server now click finish it will open the WAM server here WAM server icon will turn orange and then green ok now our WAM server is ready now click on the icon and click the local host this is our WAM server home page and it is ready to use now the second step is you have to install the WinRAR to down to extract the compress files ok so we will go to our browser in a google type winrar and hit enter now click on download you will see two versions one for 32 bit one for 64 bit you can download according to your system ok i have downloaded the winrar and so i will go to the download folder so here is a winrar you have to install this double click then install click ok done the next thing is we have to install the aptana studio so go to your web browser type Aptana Studio for Windows. Okay, click and then go to the site. Choose a standalone version and download Aptana Studio. After downloading, go to your download folder and right click open. Okay, 
Aptana Studio 3 setup is now click next agree then next and next next and install ok completed click next and setup has successfully installed Aptana Studio on your computer so click close ok you are done 3 steps now next is install drush so go to your web browser go to google and type drush for windows and hit enter so go to drush.w slash drush windows installer so here is a download link download the drush 6.0 windows installer and after downloading go to your downloads folder so here is a drush you cannot see the extension for this file so to view the extension go to organize folder and search option go to view and here is a uncheck the hide extension for known file types and click ok now you can see the extension it is the dot msi extension so to run it as administrator you have to do once one more step so the step is you have to download a zip file from this link http slash and this link so you can find this link in details of video below this video so download this zip folder and as I have downloaded uh, right click and extract here so it will extract this .reg file now double click on this file and it will open the dialog block are you sure you want to continue you have to click S and then register is successfully added click OK now you can click on drush right click on it and install as a administrator this is important you have to install it as administrator now the setup wizard is open and click next you have to select everything here uh, it will look like this then click next and install it will take some time uh, to install drush on your system ok the drush setup is completed so click finish uh, now next step the next step is to download the Drupal 7 so go to google type Drupal hit enter and go to Drupal open source CMS click on this link uh, this is the drupal.org home page so click on get started with Drupal you have to download Drupal 7.24 the version will be different so click on this link and then on next page you have to scroll down you can download the version uh, Drupal version 7 either a gg file or a zip file so you can download any of this file uh, I will download the gzip file as it is of a less size so after downloading go to the download folder and then here is a Drupal then right click on it and extract files so then you have to go browse to the C drive then WAM and then www directory and click www directory and click OK you have extracted the drupal folder on vamp www directory so here is our folder ok uh, we have installed drupal here so we have to rename as per our uh, details uh, here is our drupal site details our site name will be my project and our database name will be my project db ok so let's rename this folder as my project 
Okay. Okay, let's install the Drupal. Uh, so open the browser and open localhost. Type localhost in a address bar and hit enter. So this is our WAM server home page. You will see here your projects. So click on my project. It will open. Select an installation profile. It will open install.php. So click standard and save and continue. So then select English and save and continue. Okay, here is the database configuration. So you have to create first the database. So click on the WAMP icon, then go to MySQL, then open MySQL console by clicking clicking on MySQL console. Okay. Hit enter and then type create database my project db okay close this window now type the database name my project db database username as root and database password if you have password then type the password if you don't then save and continue Okay, Drupal is installing the modules. Okay, uh, Drupal installation is uh, finished, and here is the site configuration. So, what is the site name? So my site name is my project. Site email. So I will take it as admin at the rate my project dot com. Okay. So site maintenance account. Type username as admin. So then email address. So copy the same email address here. Then enter a password. You can set password of. Okay, then select your country. I will select India, and then I will okay. Then I will uncheck this. You can check it and save and continue, but I will uncheck it. So. Okay, our Drupal installation is complete and we can visit our new site here. Click on this link. So this is our Drupal website. Okay. Now let's add this project into our Aptana Studio. So minimize this and open the Aptana Studio 3. Okay. Okay, Aptana ID is open. So now we will go to import project here. So click on import project, click on general, then existing folder as a new project. Then click next, then web. Now select the folder. So we have to select our folder which is in a C drive, then WAM, then www directory, and then my project. Okay, and click OK. Project name is my project and click finish. Okay, we have loaded our project in Aptana Studio ID. Okay, then now you need Drupal Aptana formatter. So you can download this Drupal Aptana formatter using this link. So you can find this link in a details of this video. Below this video, uh, the link is this. So you can download the Drupal Aptana formatter profile.xml file from this link. After downloading this file, uh, this file is uh, present in downloads folder. Here is the file. 
Drupal Octana profile, uh, Drupal Octana or metal profile dot XML. So, so to use Drupal Octana profile, format of profile, you have to go to Windows, then Preferences, then in filter type formatter. So here you will see the formatter. Okay, click on formatter, then click on import. So and go to your downloaded formatter. This is the Drupal Athena formatter profile.xml. So click on this and open. And then click okay so this is all about this video uh, we will summarize we have installed vam server we have installed aptana studio we have installed drush and we have downloaded and installed the drupal 7 and we will see in next video the next video of that of this tutorial thank you for watching this video if you have any questions you can ask in comment section goodbye